Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my channel members for their ongoing support. If you would like your name to appear on screen, then you can click on the membership link that will be in the description down below. I have two tiers, one for shout outs and a second tier where you will get weekly members only content. This content will be catch up live streams, members only reactions or sometimes I will do a pre-recorded chatty get ready with me video where I update you on life stuffs. There is also of course the custom emojis and the cute animal badges next to your name. Of course you just watching this video is already much appreciated but if you wish to support the channel further you can do so by subscribing, commenting, liking, sending super thanks and of course joining the membership. And now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And yes, we are starting a new bodybuilding journey. I am 17 weeks out from another show because <laughs> I'm crazy. So be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't checked out my last vlog series, check that out. I've been premiering the last couple of videos, the show day, the peak week. Uh, and I also will premiere the my stay in Portugal and my travel back video because I've kind of been enjoying it being in the chat with you guys. But it's not something I'll do every time. Like it's only with certain types, only special occasions I do a premiere on a video. Um, but today we are gonna be looking at some Emily Reed. I have been keeping up with the shenanigans, the breakups, um, all the other bits and bobs that happen with Amberverse. But she uploaded a video this morning called I'm not okay, moving furniture and another way in. So I figured we'd take a little gander and see what she has to say. Um, I've got a bit of work to do this afternoon. Uh, I will be taking on new clients tomorrow. I will do a live stream. I'll do a pre-members live stream. I'll do a live stream for the channel and then a pre-members live stream. I'm just not sure what time to do it yet because I might be going on a date tonight. If I'm gonna go on a date tonight, I might not be able to do as much work today. So I'm kind of, I, I'm not 100% sure what my plans are for today. And depending on that, I will be able to schedule for tomorrow, but I will definitely go live and I will give away three one-to-one uh, -one coaching packages, not packages, I'll, and I will do a giveaway for three one-to-one -one coaching spots for a month uh, as a thank you for uh, getting me to 40,000, which is like, I'm on 43 already, which is absolute insanity. But uh, that's my, you know, I'll, I'll take on three people. Uh, or if you if you don't win, you can't, the, uh, obviously there will be, clauses around that I can't just take on anybody but um, we can work something out oh. <laughs> but we can work something out I'll have to have a think about it and then tomorrow I'll announce the, the rules if you like um, so yeah let's look at what Amber has to say if you are a member your name should also now be in the shout outs I have updated them today but let me get caffeinated and uh, see what Amber has to say, shall we? Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup and um, I just have some dark under eye moments. Like I just am not sleeping so well. She's always had dark under eye moments. I've never seen her without a dark under eye moment. I will say today I was able to get in a nap, which was much needed because I really truly am not sleeping very well like at all. Doesn't she normally nap anyway? I'm pretty sure she's admitted to that before, right? That she, uh, I'm pretty sure that that is something she's admitted to before that she naps during the day, which no, I'm no hate on napping. I like having a nap. In fact, I intend on maybe having a nap this afternoon as well because I wake up so early <laughs> and I don't get more than five, six, eight, excuse me. I usually don't get more than five, five or six hours sleep, so I get a bit tired in the daytime, especially if I've been training. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, uh, naps are nice. How, if you nap, how long do you nap for? I nap usually around 20 to 40 minutes. Anything more than that, I don't feel like it's a nap anymore. It becomes a sleep. Um, I know I'm not helping myself, but sometimes having caffeine, like yesterday I had a little bit more caffeine than usual. So that probably did not help at all. But uh, taking melatonin, it does help so i am grateful for that 
like literally I don't even know how it happened but my um elf eyeliner is broke completely broke it won't even close it's cracked I don't know how it happened because like uh, is she wearing yesterday's makeup and she's just reapplying makeup over the old makeup is, is this is that what's going on here that's a, a choice to just not clean your face and just put on makeup over old makeup fair enough I don't throw my makeup bag around like I don't remember sitting on it or stepping on it, so I don't know what happened, but that's okay. So I woke up just a few hours ago and I don't know, I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I felt compelled to. Like I just am really enjoying the look at the two the light she's got going already. She's enjoying the breakup and the added attention that's on her channel now, which res results in more money. And that's fine, you know, seize the moment. Uh, capitalize on whatever that's basically her channel isn't it so I understand but she is she's probably more now and doing more clickbait now because of there's drama in her little world um, walking a lot rarity over here is messing with my Legos baby girl you can't be doing that I've just been like really enjoying a good vlog so <laughs> um, I love talking to you guys and it just feels really good I don't know part of me feels like maybe I should start uploading every other day just to kind of get ahead of schedule but um i have been like literally uploading daily i don't know what i'm doing um i'm gonna have some of these coconut strips they're so good like the texture okay. they're a little hard because i got them like a week ago <laughs> okay i guess they're stale but <laughs> when they're not stale the texture is so freaking good they taste amazing i've never had them but i think things like that can be quite high in fat right I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure that coconut flesh is quite high in fat. But I'm not sure. And I just have a couple a day. It's lasted me this long. Okay, so hi. Currently in the office. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of moving adventures. Part of the moving adventures. <laughs> um, I want all of like my completed boxes. Um, and isn't all of this stuff Feline's though? Like the sneaker, the sneaker book. The sneaker thing all of this is like her stuff has she moved out has she not moved out yet i guess if they're still living together it makes sense that it's still there but if they're no longer living together which i'm not too sure if they are or not it's kind of weird to have your ex's stuff laying around isn't it i don't i don't want my ex's shit laying around when we've broken up it's like move it away stick it out of my eyesight please thank things you things that are like ready and done and packed to just be in the office so for a little bit it's gonna be like a storage just a place for it to get out of the way ready for the movers like this is gonna be a, a process <laughs> because like i'm a big procrastinator so i'm gonna do a little bit every single day so like when the time does come i'm just gonna feel stress-free i mean as much as i can be but all of this right here is feline's um these are all her records yeah i don't usually pack a lot if I'm gonna move if I'm gonna move I pack on the last minute because you kind of know what you need I mean I suppose there's some stuff you can pack away but usually speaking whenever I've moved which has been a lot of time in my life I just do the packing in the week of moving it I've if you're um, a single person in an apartment you don't have that much stuff like it doesn't take uh, granted she is Amber and she is super morbidly obese and I'm sure that any movement for her is very tiring and challenging but if you're a normal able-bodied person a single person that has like an apartment like I have, you can pretty much pack everything up in the day. You shouldn't have that much stuff that it takes a long period of time. If you're like a family, it's a bit different. If you're a family, there's a lot more um, planning goes into it. But if you're just a single person, a few boxes, not a few, but you know, you can get away with like a transit van and that's usually speaking enough stuff. And stuff like that. So I actually want to start packing certain things but this is like the corner i want to start um piling boxes or whatever it may be and um she suggested uh that she is fine with moving this we're just going to move it on the other side of the office where her desk is okay so i'm gonna unplug i'm not wearing pants <laughs> okay so i'm gonna unplug her girl looks like she is doing very well in the weight loss journey she is looking, I'm going to say, she says she did a weigh in, we're going to get a weigh in here. Um, I feel like she's looking at around 5.30s, to be honest. That's uh, roughly my estimate of what her current weight situation type deal is. I don't know how heavy some of this stuff is. Ever since I was diagnosed with a, um, hurry up, I found out like you should have like heavy lifts, but I still do it anyway. That's not heavy lifting though. <laughs> 
I know, like, I know what she means, and I'm sure maybe it is heavy for her, but that's not gonna be more than like what five kilos. This I'm gonna take that little thing, is it? So I'm just gonna set it right here to get it out of the way. She keeps doing the zooms because of her legs, in it. Oh no! I'm gonna put her Lego on her desk. This is a huge ultimate sneaker book I got her for uh, Christmas time. So she has a lot of records. So just to make this thing lighter, I'm gonna take the records out. Because records are so heavy. Are they so gently? Maybe they are. I don't think. No, they're not. Are they? They're like what 100 grams, 200 grams. Set them on the ground. I actually love this thing. Um, such a good record player holder. All right, moment of truth is how heavy is this guy? Um, eh, it's probably a two person situation type deal, but I'm gonna do it myself. Such a warrior, such a brave warrior. So I'm just gonna move it to that side of the room. Oh, I got her. I got her, folks. I just lost my- Quality content over here. My earring. Uh, I'm just gonna take them out. All this heavy lifting, girl. You've got to make. I understand. This is why I don't. I don't wear jewelry. All this working out, it kind of gets in the way. <laughs> what is this video, though? Like for real? Now I got a record player. Now I'm gonna pick up the records and put them back. Ooh, we blurry. We blurry, folks. All right. So now the corner is free. Of course, Rarity thinks it's her corner now. She's so cute. Um. I guess I could take these down as well. Just sit them up against this for now. Hello, hello. We have a little Trader Joe's moment. Um, so I wanted to show you what I got. So some of this is coins. So we're just like, taking our stuff and putting it out. But for me, I got some more of these coconut macaroons. They're very diet friendly. It's honestly, so good. Um, slightly addictive. So I got me some of them. I got a bag of these chicken cilantro mini wontons. I figured I could put them in More healthy food. To try them. For four pieces, it's 50 calories. For four of these, is 50 calories. Like is she gonna have only four though? The, by judging by the lack of weight loss, I'm gonna say that's no. Foot, that's not many calories at all. And then literally last but not least, like it was a small trip, I got two more bags of these Thai vegetable gyozas. <laughs> If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. But these are so good in the air fryer. Kiosas are nice, uh, but yeah, like where's the, I mean, it is real food, but you know, it's not exactly healthy, healthy. It's like pastry, basically. With some soy sauce and sriracha once they're done. It's like my literal favorite thing ever. So I haven't really been filming much today. And you know, she eats probably both of those bags, right? And she's not just having six, which is a serving. Hey, but hi, I'm currently eating my Thai, uh, Guys, O's. It exploded in the airport. Oh my Um, I had a breakdown earlier. Love that for me. The TV's on right now, so if you hear that, that's what that is. But my eyes are super swollen. So why I'm really here? Uh, it's it's so weird to sit there and be so casual about saying you've had a breakdown, and then you just sit there eating food completely unbothered. That's like. Are we supposed to feel sympathy? Are we supposed to, like, I don't understand what, what reaction she's expecting from people to have. Because it's like the, the breakdown paired with just the unbothered eating, it's like, it's the combination clashes. It's weird. Because I want to show you, I completed another wannabe Lego. This one is another one of them building ones. So back here, there's like a garden, there's a kitchen in there, there's a freaking bedroom another bedroom there's a bathroom there's a shower there's a living room a tv some stairs it was so fun and i want to keep giving you guys updates on those okay so i just slammed my camera against the wall on accident so this is me testing do you still work <laughs> i sure hope so hello update my throat hurts so i'm about to google Can't... this is such a weird vlog she's like i i it's so weird. It's like she's vlogging for the sake of vlogging, but there's nothing really happening. 
I mean, I'm not that anything really happens in Amber's vlogs anyway, but this in particular feels very strange. Too much. Make your throat hurt. Poor baby. The increased effort to expand the throat and the tension created by opposing contractions when talking or swallowing triggers pain and discomfort in the throat. Yep, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, common cold, strep throat, tonsillitis. I don't know what it is, but right here in my tonsil, it hurts. And I have not been sick like with a cold or anything like that in freaking ages. Um. She's been kind of sick quite a lot though, hasn't she recently? What did she have last? I'm trying to think. Didn't she have like a serious lung problem, right? And I'm, she's been she's been having all kinds of health issues, obviously. But I'm pretty, uh, maybe not a cold. I'm trying to remember. All of her medical problems just blur into one, you know, right. after a while. Okay, so today, not my day. <laughs> um, I just want to say, no, not my day at all nowhere even close to it i just feel myself breaking down more and more um, as the night goes on and i am tired of crying but we do have a weigh-in to do so as you guys know my popsicle sticks why is she, why is she weighing in at the end of the day that's really bizarre that i want to do that i want to do i think i'm slot happy because i'm tired that just means someone who's like super tired sort of like goofy will be that's how i feel right now and also it's just like my mentals and my emotions she is really trolling hard and this this is what's that's this is what's going on the the trolling it's in full force it's in full force and my whole nine has been through the ringer today like at its all-time high so i'm just kind of struggling with that and i've just had a hard time focusing on this vlog today so i do apologize this isn't the greatest vlog in the world my day started on a high and it just eventually was like Woo! you know so but then why continue vlogging? Why not just pick the camera up tomorrow and go like, sorry guys, I had a bad day yesterday, didn't feel like filming. I'm back again today. I don't know. I suppose she's being honest and transparent. And maybe get some ass pets for being sad, I suppose. Anyways, um, I did weigh myself today. As you guys know, I'm gonna lose 56 pounds. That is my goal. So there's 56 sticks. Each one is numbered. Every pound I lose, I'm gonna take one from here, put it here. <laughs> why? What, what is this? What's the point of doing this? Well, so she can visually see how she's progressing. You could just eat less and like we can see visually, like you don't have to do things like this. It's not going to make you lose weight quicker. What's going to make you lose weight quicker is to actually be in a deficit and try and not eat macaroons and gyozas basically with soya sauce. Each one has a number and I have questions that you guys have asked me. So my last one in actually was 524.6 and today I was 522.6. So that's two pounds down. So that means we're picking two of these. So one and two. All right, so I'll put this on the side here. Oh, wow, that's weird. <laughs> so we're gonna do the first question and put that guy in there. Where do you physically notice weight loss? For her in her face, absolutely. The face and upper chest. That's first. Shoulders. Usually my face. Like my cheeks will definitely get smaller. This part's less puffy. Um, I will lose some of this and like some of this like neck fat. So that's where I notice it first. Next one is 52. Why do you think haters ignore the number one symptom of severe lipedema? So actually when someone asked me that question on Instagram, they asked me it in a message on Instagram and they went a little more into detail saying how they also have lipedema and that they have a very severe case and no matter how much they diet, they can't lose weight. Your body is not entirely lipedema. Yes, the lipedema, once it's there, you have to remove it surgically from my understanding. However, if you're 100 pounds overweight and say 50 pounds of that is lipedema, if you lose weight, you will still have that 50 pounds of lipedema, but you, you can still lose 10, 15, 20, up to 50 pounds of fat. So this is just like, this lipedema is something that I feel like a lot of people that are amber size are starting to use. What's his name? Jordan Underwood are starting to use as an excuse to basically not lose weight. It's like, well, I have lipedema. It's like, yeah, but you're not, you're, and not all of your obesity is like lipedema. It, only some of it is obesity. It's not all your fat, all your excess body weight. It's and they also see a specialist who says that the number one symptom is weight gain, even as much as you try to lose the weight. So I think the haters <laughs> choose to ignore that 
and choose to think that I just need 3,000 calories to lose weight and all this like crazy stuff is because they don't have the knowledge in lipedema. And I feel like there's a large group of people that like, even if they did have the knowledge, they don't care. And it's like, I have an illness, I have a disease, which is lipedema, which is causing my weight loss to happen very slow. And even with that, but still, you're not really trying. You just filmed yourself eating fucking macaroons, buying macaroons, and gyozas. And uh, what, what did you have? Wontons and stuff. Like, that's not diet friendly food. It's nice, of course it's nice, but it's not diet friendly food. Reason, which it's not an excuse, it's a reason. It's a biological reason. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to accept it because they just like believing and accepting anything that is the opposite of what I share. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. This is probably a shorty, but that's okay. Some vlogs will be shorter. I just am not doing very well today. I do need to go put my clothes in the dryer because I'm doing a little laundry. And then I'm going to go chill in bed um, and hopefully get some sort of sleep. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Well, that's a bonus for me as well. That means that I can... Uh, get a bit more work done today, which is great. So on that note, live stream details will be up when I know what's happening with my day. I've updated the names. We'll be taking on more one-to-one -one clients, giveaway tomorrow. If you're an existing client, you can still apply, obviously, for the giveaway. Uh, I will just give you a month for free, or I can, yeah. And that's it, so I'm gonna go insert A Insert the blue heart emoji, comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you dislike it, let me know down below why, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.